Welcome back friends and now we will go on with discussing the role of integrated marketing communication in building brands and strengthening company image. Let us have a brief thought on brand. We all know a brand is an identifying symbol, mark, logo, name, word or sentence companies use to distinguish their products from others. You may visit American marketing website, uh, marketing association website for going further into the detail of several terms associated with a brand, but it is all around you, it is all around you. There is a symbol on the shoe which you are wearing, there is a symbol on the watch, there is a symbol on the television channel or let us say uh, the movie you are watching you know. So, so it is everywhere that it is there is a symbol, there is a logo somewhere on your laptop at this moment, there is a logo on your mobile phone and half or, or you know Apple you know it is it is there on the back and it is a sought after kind of a thing basically and that is where brand image comes in is the perception of the brand in the minds of the customer. It expresses how the company is known in the marketplace. And you see when we talk of brand image, how do we create that brand image? That is where integrated marketing communication comes in. So just to simply put these two things and drawing your attention back towards integrated marketing communication is the focus of this session. Enjoy it and let me take you further. Now you see how role of brand image is, to, is related to consumer perspective and company perspective. So, by, by looking at it with the consumer's perspective, it provides confidence regarding purchase decisions. So yes, we go and we know this brand basically, so it is, you know, we are confident about it. Many a times you look at actors as brands, you know, they have brand power. They have a particular kind of a brand image perception which has been built up in due course of time about them in your minds and you find their movies good even if they are not so good. And you have confidence in you know spending money on that movie basically, even if somehow the comments and the rating is not so high. And that same happens with the institutions. Many a times, you know, you you feel confident about taking an admission into a particular kind of an institution. Many a times you feel confident in going to a particular kind of a hospital because there is a perception which that hospital carries in your mind. So, trust factor you know is there and confidence is gained through that existing trust factor or whichever way you want to look at it. Now again it also provides social acceptance of the purchase to the consumer you know kind of we all are driven by that automotives is an industry which has been capitalizing upon that what kind of a car you are driving in your driveway and you are coming out of your gate on that particular vehicle whatever you know it is very interesting uh, once uh, you know someone told me that it is one of the most differentiable kind of a product it is one of the most kind of uh, you know visible kind of a product which which you have so so you know people definitely have that kind of a, or carry that kind of a value you know and Definitely it reduces the search time. If you have a brand perspective, brand image in your mind and you carry that image and you have that confidence, you will straight away go and if you have several choices to go through, you will choose the most reliable one that is obvious basically and we have seen that in psychological and sociological elements which we discussed in consumer behavior section. So revisit that video and come back to this one wherein consumer perspective gets strengthened because of this. Company perspective. You know it creates positive customer feelings towards new products actually. So they, they focus upon development of a brand image because they want a positive element or feeling in the minds of their customer about their brands basically. They want that kind of a confidence to flow towards the customer. McDonald's, Domino's, Pizza Hut you know and it is very important in many many cases it is important all the cases, but it is very important consistently important in many cases and should not be shaken up at any cost and then uh, it, it is very sensitive in some cases for example food products or let us say products related to children or let us say you know, and we have seen several examples that kind of a confidence getting loosened up products getting 
a beating somewhere. Then it strengthens consumers loyalty which is the dream for almost every marketer in this world have loyalty strength for their products. Positive word of mouth, everyone is talking good about you, everyone is happy, everyone wants to use your services or products, that is the only thing you want in your life, you want your product to keep on growing and your organization to grow despite whatever is happening in terms of economic ups and downs or whatever is happening in terms of environmental changes or technological changes or whatever is going around you. If, if, if it is positive, it is good for you. Consumers often associate brands with better quality, yes, consumers look at that and uh, many a times it is true also, I would not go into the details of you know uh, how quality can be seen as a relative term in terms of pricing, branding definitely has a relationship to that actually. So, you see IMC creates brand awareness and a positive or let us say you know uh, an intelligent awareness spree or let us say an intense awareness in the minds of the customer that that things that thing actually is is on the minds of the customer always customer is aware about it even if he is not the user he is talking about that he he talks about the you know speed or capability of engines or automotives for example so someday when he is going to buy or he is going to recommend that to someone basically then then that is going to work actually so awareness in terms of the product the utility of the product the capacity of the product the capability of the product awareness about the product itself what who does that integrated marketing communication does that and awareness contributes in image and perception and later on we have talked about it imc delivers the brand message we all know positioning of the brand definitely we have talked about it and it, it encourages brand loyalty. So, after a particular kind of a stage however common the product is for example, a simple ball pen. Now, you do not remain loyal to a particular kind of a product until unless it is a brand. So, even it is not so price high priced product basically price sensitivity is not in question, but still you go and ask for that product by name, pilot pen. You want that particular pen because IMC has created a brand or supported encouraged brand loyalty and rest has been done by the product itself definitely and the organization, the sales force and so many things. So, here you have that kind of you know relationship established. I will just enumerate a brief case study here and we will come back to some of the points later on after deciphering this case study. Pampers we all know, you know. So, we, we all understand in India it was not so common earlier, I am um, talking of let us say two decades back, then it started flowing in and today uh, you know disposable diapers they have reached into almost every household it, it was not so uh, you know house uh, house made solutions were very common nappies were very common made out of cloths in case of young children but then diapers they have taken their own place and, and it is a large selling product now and it, it has gone into you know for for elderly usage as well which is very useful and important we will we can talk about it but but especially in case of pampers and huggies we realize that you know they have gone a long way in terms of you know developing this market all through and you see the pampers marketing team faced several critical issues at one part of time despite it having been the brand leader for many years you know the proliferation of information channels forced Pampers to explore a new approach to cut through the background noise to reach prospective customers. At this moment, I want you to remember the discussion we have had, uh, you know, about 
message going from sender to receiver and you remember that there was a block saying noise in between wherein you know there is this is so much of uh, you know distortion which the receiver is facing because of many many reasons and the other day we talked about advertising clutter also and the other day we talked about cognitive resistance wherein we, we were mentioning cognitive response few sessions back when we were talking about consumer behavior. So, that is precisely what we are talking at this moment that that you know the marketing team of this product you know despite of them being leaders at one part of time you know they, they have been neck to neck many times pampers and huggies. So, they explored a new approach to cut through that background noise. They decided to introduce one to one approach in addition to their traditional TV driven campaigns. Now, they wanted to reach to the household directly. Now, that, that is very uh, innovative kind of because, because you see uh, customer relationship management has become a different stream of uh, uh, you know discussion and uh, you know understanding altogether. But again that sort of is very deeply related to integrated marketing communication I should not overstep and say that emanated from integrated marketing communication. But, but definitely so they wanted to you know go for one to one approach and they sort of initiated you know different channels of communication with their competitors. So, they decided to send a direct mail to the mothers at 8 points in the mother and baby's life you know. So, they, they started describing you know a mother's and a baby's life very attractive proposition actually. Mothers they love it you know they, they, they want to be guided how to take best care of their babies always actually and that is very interesting part. So, so they, they wanted that they somehow wanted to hear that. So, now they, they created a storyboard, they created a communication related to those 8 points which are important in a mother's and a baby's life, 3 pre birth and 5 post birth. Now, you see mother gets associated with her baby before birth obviously. So, she is a mother before even the child is born. So, that is where you have to guide her. And in today's era, it is very important because many mothers they go through the process of motherhood just their husbands by their sides and many times alone when they are working somewhere else. So, it is it is you know it is very likable thing when someone is guiding them actually. So, Pampers they started this communication and that was liked by them and what did they did they do? They sent CDs those days CDs were common. So, compact discs you remember. You know. So, those CDs were sent to the mothers and the CDs they gave an insight into how babies experience the world while still in the womb and a post birth CD how to massage the baby, how to nurture the baby and so on was also sent. So, two packs kind of or two com two sections of a communication wherein you know they they can watch it they can you know enjoy that as well as while learning that and you see what kind of an effect this organization was making on the minds of the mothers that is where you know building a brand image and perception is going on as far as and this is what integrated marketing communication is and then samples discount coupons were also included there because you are sending them. So, so a gift has to be sent them that 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 should encourage them to buy pampers after all and it is very important also because if you are sending them a message, a story, a narration and you are not attracting them with some coupon or discounts or you are not encouraging encouraging them with some samples at the end of the day they might 
desire for a nappy and whichever they will find in front of them while coming out of their house or they might see another advertisement of some other company and the need is there and desire is there and they might end up purchasing some other alternative. So, that is that is a very careful kind of a thing when you are thinking in terms of integrated marketing communication and we have just talked about this kind of a thing in uh, IMC strategy as well. And Pampers.com was built around you know three areas covering the aspects of childhood development that are most of most interest to mothers learning, playing and sharing. This is how they started developing on. And then you know parents can opt in receive a monthly newsletter that updates them about the development of their baby. They are living along with that experience of getting into parenthood and the early parenthood actually. A beautiful kind of a thought basically when you want to live with your customer, you want to be present there with them in all, all the cases. IKEA Furniture has done this successfully, ACC Cement has done this successfully, Cimex has done this successfully. There are several examples of uh, you know this sort wherein you would be you know finding those stories wherein uh, you know cement organizations guiding their customers how to construct or to repair their houses and when they would be requiring you know cement for repair and how to store it and how to you know and so on several kinds of inputs all through. There are several automotive companies which actually guide their customers how to maintain their automotives well and so on. They live along with as far as the uh, product goes in the customer's house and you know then interactive digital television was used as a bridge combining the emotive strength and visual quality of traditional TV advertising with the depth and personalization available through the internet. So, now they were putting up one communication through mass media or through one way media and then going through interactive media and you know customizing that message or strengthening that message all through. This way they reached into the household with the customers at the time when they were asking for some help and advice. And you see there are some results which can be mentioned about them. There have been some qualitative consumer researches you know that there has been a turnaround in the perception of the brand and the way in which mothers relate to pampers now. And as I told you that results advertising or integrated marketing communication must have measurability in terms of the objectives we have talked about that. So, Pampers did that because they are going for an exercise they want to know what kind of a results they are getting out of it. So, they, they effectively did that. Market share rose obviously uh, uh, although not so obviously, but, but uh, when you touch the hearts of the customers then definitely there is an effect and you know that can be measured as well. So, they went for a clear market leadership position at that time and it became a favorite brand for baby diapers. Consumers consistently gave positive feedback showing that right message was being communicated to them. So, customers appreciated the communication which they were getting from the side of Pampers. And the subsequent slides are from Statista wherein you know you can refer to this source wherein the question was asked in United Kingdom in 2019 about consumers favorite baby diaper brands. So, what is your favorite brand for baby diapers and the answer is evident there were so many who said that I do not have a favorite brand of baby, di baby diapers and Pampers was 21 percent out, out of the total sample that was taken and brand awareness of diapers in the US in 2017 was Huggies and Pampers were neck to neck actually. So, a good gain as far as this organization goes. Now, I will take you through one or two very important narratives and story, but before that I will take you to you know again the perspective we were trying to build around building brands 
and strengthening company images. Just go through this quickly, providing confidence, Pampers did that, providing social acceptance amongst the peer group, what kind of brand you are using, you are using a reliable brand for your babies, Pampers did that to the customer. Reduce search time, Pampers did that and company's perspective that created a positive feeling, strengthened consumer loyalty, positive word of mouth definitely and better quality was also associated with the kind of exercise Pampers did, definitely they focused upon their quality as well. And then remember these four elements, they created awareness amongst the expecting mothers, they delivered brand message well, they positioned the brand even before the babies are born and they are encouraging brand loyalty in due course of time. Now let me take you through two, three examples specifically wherein I would talk about Gillette and you see we have tried to understand brand image and role of IMC in developing that brand image, establishing that brand image. I might be revisiting that in due course of time wherein I would be focusing upon one specific mode contributing into that, but, but that would be you know slightly on the deeper side. Gillette India when they realized that many people do not shave, they went for understanding consumer behavior related to shaving, they talked to people like me as well, they could not find a very specific reason about that. So, they put me aside as an exceptional customer, prospective customer who might be cracked with some effort, but they did not want to waste their time on me and they focused upon several young people basically that is the prime target or people who want to remain clean shaven and you know they look they want to look good actually they they want that kind of an appearance so so they focused upon those kind of people and people like me definitely you know were analyzing what they are doing actually you know because we have to give examples of that sort in in such kind of situations so they realized that somehow people have to be motivated to shave. Who motivates them? Obviously, a woman in the house. Now, that can be a mother who motivates her young son to look good, to look clean, to look happy, fresh and so on. So, whenever a young son is shabby and going to college just like feeling that he is you know uh, looking good in that kind of a rough look basically which he is carrying on his face, mother says no you are not looking good, you were so beautiful and so handsome in your young, young age and now you are ruining your face basically. So, mother, sisters, girlfriends of course, wives very powerful, very powerful as far as you know that does not mean that my, my wife is not so motivating in terms of you know what but, but yeah very powerful. And then there are several motivations and a beautiful motivation is your daughter actually. Many times she tells you to remain clean. I remember those days when my daughter was young and uh, I had to go along with her to her school in some parent teacher meeting and she used to tell me that you have to look nice today and you have to shave. That does not mean that I was shabby since ever basically. but but she used to motivate me. So, that was a very big motivation and, and then uh, those days her uh, grandmother was with us and, and she also used to reinforce and strengthen the thought that yes, you should look nice while going to your daughter's school. So, Gillette realizing this element basically they went for shave a a very large moment wherein they engaged very well known models of India and they went for you know motivating males to shave through their female influ influencers 
and they went for one to one campaign in, in cities all around. They did not utilize mass media or you know lots of television or newspaper at that time because somehow budgeting was looked into very carefully because Chillet was not gaining in terms of profits and revenues at that time. So, so they went for that and it is a wonderful thing because up till now we have covered the objectives and budget and, and you can you know somehow correlate this discussion with that as well. So, they went to all the cities they motivated and they motivated large number of people to shave together. So, that entered into some record book also if I remember correctly and hundreds and thousands of people shaved themselves on one single day as well during some events as well and they wanted to look good and clean and you know that was picturized that was videographed they were told that how good they are looking and so on and it started working and Gillette started rolling on. The sales figures of that particular period show that they doubled the sales within one month if I am not wrong might be here and there by some percentage, but you can find it out you can go to Statista you can look into the campaigns such kind of campaigns which they engaged with or they engaged for themselves and during that period you can monitor the sales uh, in, in a particular region as well. They did well then they in due course of time they realized that they must come back to single blade systems as well and Gillette Guard came in and that was very intelligent move and then it became consistent somehow sales you know went ahead Gillette is back on track doing very good and now their integrated marketing communication you know includes several kinds of efforts several kinds of you know campaigns and messages and they have engaged sports stars also sports persons also and so on and they have done well. So, good for them. Now, I would take you towards a very very successful campaign which I have mentioned earlier as well incredible India and you see Indian tourism had to be developed it had to be further strengthened in the eyes of the international visitors because definitely tourism and not only enhances you know economy or strengthens economy I should say, but it brings in employment and you know or, or largely when I have mentioned that it strengthens economy it covers almost everything. But you see the point is from where to start you have to tell people you are doing good in terms of developing infrastructure your, your tourism is just, you know ready to welcome people and you have you have strengthened your ways your process and operations and uh, you know everything is in place now you are you are developing your airports you are developing your infrastructures hotel and and uh, you know in road systems and and uh, in you know inland uh, travel systems or uh, internal airlines and so on but no one knows so they started with a very beautiful campaign just visited visit their website they went abroad they started advertising there as well they utilized local media they utilized local channels they utilized local modes hoardings and even buses in New York and then they drew attention of people wherein they projected eye of India through different beautiful colors through beautiful symbols of India like tiger and Taj Mahal and Himalayas and Mount Everest and you know and then Kanchanjanga Mount Everest definitely is beyond India. So, and then they projected so many you know places to visit in India and in southern parts of India seaside and so on and then through that beautiful integrated campaign they developed this image of India as a tourism destination. I am happy to share with you that international tourism got a huge impetus and a beautiful thing which came it should not have come as a surprise, but it was for, for a while it was a surprise that Indians staying abroad who were going to different places as tourists come, uh, rather than coming back to India they started coming back to India as tourists as well meaning that they are visiting their homes and they started 
planning their vacations to visit within India when they are visiting their homes. So, you see not only pure international tourists who are citizens of different countries they started coming in in a larger number, but those Indians who are staying ab uh, abroad they also started planning their trips and you know, trips to India to visit within India apart from their homes. And that was a very welcome and a beautiful change which Incredible India brought in. Nexa we have recently seen that has gone for a very systematic integrated marketing communication to develop the brand image of Maruti Suzuki's reach to the customer through retail and service outlets. Nexa is a brand in itself now. Scorpio we have talked about. I want, I want to leave you with this thought of you know Scorpio and Nexa and I wish for you to go into these stories deeper and find out how when in 2004 or 5 somewhere you know if, if, if I am not wrong when first Scorpio was launched how they built up their campaign and that actually contributed in to the brand image which we are referring here building the brand of Scorpio. So, just go back I have mentioned about that earlier as well. Now, specifically go to Nexa and it is a very important case study because this has become a mode for taking Maruti Suzuki into a different trajectory with at a different level bringing them you know close to the customer repositioning them as an organization which cares for their customer apart from developing good products for them. I do not know if they were losing on that, but this is helping them and the campaigns associated with Nexa, the showrooms they have opened up, the kind of ambience they have created there, the kind of communication they have made through from all the sides is working for them and it has well contributed into as far as development of their brand image and contributing is contributing into their brand equity as well. So, I will leave you with this thought wish for you to go into this think of this read this study on this and prepare notes for yourselves. Goodbye for now. Thank you. See you next time.